Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatti Crypto here. And let's just dive straight into it. So currently with what's going on in the United States, it does play a huge role on crypto. And another thing that plays an even bigger role is just Bitcoin in itself, regardless of what's going on. Bitcoin's always going to dominate everything. So there's talks and we're looking at different things currently on the charts, which is showing us that the likelihood is we're going to be looking to move upwards to that more of a 25k range and that we're talking in dollars obviously uh, not British pounds but around March time we're looking to probably head up to around there just because of the simple fact of what's going on in the United States at the moment with this whole issue around their printing and everything like that you might see that institutional buying and all of that kind of retail side of things coming back in, looking for opportunities elsewhere. So it's always good to understand what is actually going on elsewhere externally and across the broader consensus of things, because there's always this talk, isn't there? Is it is it a bull trap? Is this a run? What could this be? And a lot of people that join crypto, that are new to crypto, kind of believe that you're going to join and the likelihood is it's going to go to the moon within the next couple of weeks. You're planning on buying all of these different expensive things. You're planning all these different holidays. You're telling your friends that you're going to become rich. And, you know, I guess the majority of us, we have been there before and you kind of get into this understanding that when Bitcoin runs, it's going to just drag the rest of the market with it. So if we go over to the price of Bitcoin, we've seen we've had this really good run here and we're on a 30 minute chart. And now you can see we're in this consolidation phase. And these are these kind of deciding terms as to are we going to move up? Are we going to move down? And people do all these kind of different things with the 20 week EMA, the green wave and all of the different macro indicators that you can use to get a technical analysis and, and then kind of portray it how you wish. But nobody's got a crystal ball whatsoever not one bit. No one's ever going to be able to say this is what's going to happen and this is what's going to go in. So you will see people across the board right now talking about whether it's going to go up, whether it's going to go down, because that's what people do. They bet on it. The amount of people that were liquidated between here and here is is probably an absolutely insane amount. I could probably think it's, you know, at least half a billion upwards of, of liquidations caused from that just that pump in itself because we were sat in this channel for so long and people were betting if it's going to go up is it going to go down and then just kind of sitting here nothing happening and then boom all of a sudden breaking out moving up but this is really good because with the FTX issue and everything that's happened around that and all of the different things that are coming out and I was listening to a podcast with um, it's the one of the, it's, I think his name's Mike Baker, and he was talking about this information coming out of FTX pumping money into the United States legal system and then that money ending up in different places and all these different things. So hopefully we're going to start coming out of things like this and, and start seeing a more positive thing. The one thing I must say about Binance is they're always on top of things. So they've just recently detected a hacker fund movement and they previously tried to launder this through Binance. They then this time have used Huobi and Binance have chased that up. This is what we want to see in crypto because it sends good signals to the outside market. If people are putting money into Bitcoin, right, and Bitcoin shoots up, you then get this altcoin season and this automotive that people have made money in Bitcoin. So they're going to put it into other stuff. That stuff then runs vice versa. So I'm really excited that hopefully Bitcoin is going to make another move upwards but because we've just kind of been in this, like I was showing you, this just this kind of area where we're just not doing anything. We're not going quite up. We're not going quite down. We're just sitting in this channel. As you can see, if I grab a line, you can sort of see the channel here. Oh, you can see the channel sort of appearing along that line. Wow, this charting is terrible. So you can sort of see we're just sitting in this channel this whole time, kind of going up, coming back down, going up, coming down, not really going anywhere. And then seeing a breakout like this gets us all excited because ultimately everything else is going to follow it. We're highly invested in Luna Classic. Our movement's built around Luna Classic. We're going to prosper from this. No one's ever going to be able to tell you when the bull run's coming, 
how it's going to happen. But we do know there is this thing called Bitcoin halving. And around those times, things do start to get interesting. So hopefully, fingers crossed, things start to look a little bit more positive. We start to be a little bit more not so much trusting of the the people around us, but all of these kind of bad characters getting now pushed out of crypto. The people who we thought were bad are actually being shown in a better light and everything kind of move forward a bit more smoothly, less friction. And hopefully we see some good runs leading up to the summer, spring and everything like that. Folks, stay safe. None of this is financial advice. If you've got Luna Classic, you can delegate those coins with us. We do have a validators node and we do burn coins and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to drop a like on the way out if you did like the content and yeah catch you in the next one our revenge is made possible by listeners like you by listeners like you our revenge is made possible by listeners like you